Well, the flu continues to wreak havoc in GTA hospitals. Last week, I told you that Michael Guerin Hospital in Toronto's East End was forced to, forced to postpone several cancer surgeries as severe flu cases overwhelmed their ICU. Well, today we're learning that Etobicoke General here right behind me is also being forced to cancel several elective surgeries. And not only that, they're currently in a state of code gridlock, which means dozens of patients are currently being treated in the hallways as the bed shortage continues. We do see a surge in volumes, sometimes unprecedented volumes like we've had over the last, I'd say, three or four months, more so than we've seen probably in the last 10 years. In uh, this particular site, there were 31 patients this morning waiting for a bed. At our other site, there were 48. One man telling us his father was in the hallway for six days before the hospital was able to find him a bed. I went in there myself and it was quite overwhelming. 30 people, many of them seniors, being treated on gurneys pushed up against the wall. The chief of Etobicoke General's emergency department says they're making do the best they can as the influenza epidemic continues. So that's a heavy burden uh, on our system. Uh, what we've done is we've come up with novel ways of expanding our capacity. Uh, we, we are not going to compromise ever on timely care. We'll never compromise on patient safety. Uh, but what we've done is increase our capacity. We've built an eMERGE around our eMERGE. Etobicoke General has had to cancel several elective surgeries, including hernia, abdominal, and gynecologic procedures. Those patients told to wait about a month until space frees up in their ICU. That department also seeing a surge in severe flu cases. Ontario's health minister says he believes things are actually getting better. Well, we've seen uh, significant improvements uh, across the province, including Etobicoke, uh, as a result of the investments that we've made uh, in those not just 1,200 acute care beds announced last fall, but also approximately 600 transitional spaces. And I think it's important to acknowledge that considering influenza A, uh, we're past uh, the peak. Well, as you can see there, there's a lot of construction going on here at Etobicoke General. An expansion is underway. It's set to be completed in spring 2018. And once that's done, it will triple the size of the current emergency department.